Minecraft, gotta give it to Notch, one of the best games ever created, but for some reason it's created some of the weirdest famous people in the world. You know the term first world problems. After seeing what we're gonna cover in today's video, we have to come up with a new term called Minecraft YouTuber problems because there's just something insanely laughable about seeing a bunch of self-made multi-millionaires go in on each other because of a Minecraft server. But hey, here we are. Welcome to 2023, ladies and gentlemen. The thread we're gonna take a look at today is written by none other than Dream, pretty much the largest Minecraft YouTuber ever now. He's, I guess, Yes, he's dethroned the previous top guys, and he's definitely out cringed them because he just dropped a freaking novel. All right, let's see how many followers Dream has on this account. And he has 2.3 million followers. So this is a post that he thought was okay to just whip out there in front of 2.3 million people plus. This post is going to get a tiny bit personal. So if you're not in the mood to be a little bit upset, probably best not to read it. Though it's about the community drama right now. When me and my friends started working on United SMP, the QSMP had not been announced at all, and Quackity had kept things very close to his chest with all that he was working on. We were all probably thinking the same general thing. We need another Minecraft server to play on. Yes. So both the QSMP and I guess United SMP, these are Minecraft servers. This is all about Minecraft servers. To the average viewer who doesn't pay too much attention to Minecraft servers, Minecraft servers can make a lot of money. They are actually pretty large businesses, or at least the top ones are. The idea was just to have a server to be able to hop on Minecraft and play survival Minecraft again. And after the Squid Game, we all agreed that it would be awesome to have it to be creators from around the world. So I instantly started working on the translation mod and was really excited to storyboard ideas of the SMP, calling lots of creators about it, expressing excitement and brainstorming and really getting excited to play Minecraft again. After the QSMP was announced, I was surprised and reached out to Quackity expressing support for the project and letting him know that I was working on something to bring creators from around the world together too. And that would chat about it. His SMP announcement didn't mention any translation stuff and was English and Spanish based, I still was thinking that conceptually they are different enough to coexist and even was hoping to share a mod with Quackity if he was interested in using it. Quackity didn't reply to me at the time and obviously I assumed it was due to being overwhelmed and busy with the QSMP and all the messages he was probably getting. I reached out to multiple members of the QSMP that I'm close with after Quackity didn't reply to me and got varying reassurances that the QSMP server was a passion project to bring Quackity's two biggest communities of English and Spanish together and that the servers were completely different with hardly any creator overlap or any idea overlap based on what was planning. These creators all expressed strong interest in playing on both and excitement all about the communities come together. And this new era of SMPs, I expressed my interest in sharing a mod with Quackity to them and how I'd be giving it to the public for free and asked for advice on how I should approach him about it without him feeling like I was trying to butt my way into his project or something. Why is this public? He's basically just like thought dumping to 2.3 million people. Like, <laughs> bro, this should be in a Discord server with the people involved involved, not in front of 2.3 billion people. Ugh. I feel like it's almost written like he's kind of upset that he's not being involved in a high school group. Like, bro, your dream. You're one of the largest Minecraft YouTubers ever, if not the largest. Do your own thing. Does this really matter? I I'm... <laughs> Bruh. After talking to them, though, it really encouraged me to continue working on the idea with the idea that it would really be a me thing, that there would be six other owners and it could be a big community project and an open source translation mod to bridge the community together. On my original owners list, Quackity was actually the idea for the owner for the Spanish community. This would be before I knew anything about the QSMP, and I wanted every language to have a figure to make decisions so it wasn't just one guy making decisions. I figured at this point he probably wouldn't be interested, though, and thought that was fair enough, obviously, with his new SMP. Then I uploaded my translation mod video, which was planned as an April Fool's joke, and posted a simple little promotional photographic. The next day, Quackity announced a translation mod for the QSMP, with the same functionality and obviously with the same general idea of bridging that language gap even more by literally live translating. I can't pretend that it wasn't a little bit taken aback and slightly disappointed as I knew this would probably lead to drama. I'm trying to understand here. Okay, so, so they just both had a translation mod for their Minecraft servers, and he's getting upset about that? I feel like that's like like a broad enough tool to where you shouldn't be upset about that. Like, isn't a translation mod good for any server? But at the same time, I was also super excited and hopeful for the future of Minecraft content. I was excited to share ideas, potentially share development, and make things even easier and better with the community. And just a cool thing to talk about with Quackity that we both worked on and were clearly passionate about. Ideas and work like that are really hard to put together and take time, passion, and dedication. So why is he writing this post? Oh, there's so much. Oh my... Why is it so much, dude? I reached out to Quackity again, expressing support and laughing about the fact that we had such similar ideas. He hadn't replied to my previous message and I didn't reply to the one either. I bumped him, mentioning that a lot of virtual, vitriol, oh,
do you pronounce that? Vitriol. Vitriol. Epic. With building between our fans' bases because of this. Imagine if Quackity didn't even respond throughout the entire thing. That would be... <laughs> Again, is this really that deep? Are the communities really... Are the girlies fighting over Minecraft servers? Or, well, it seems to be like a one-way fight because so far, Quackity hasn't even responded to this. So far, from what I've got, they both made Minecraft servers. Quackity's just building his Minecraft servers. You know that meme, like, mo moisturized, flourishing in my own lane? That's Quackity right now. And then, like, Dream is just seething right now going, why aren't you replying to me? Why aren't we building our servers to bro? Just and do your own thing. Oh my goodness. I'm just baffled by the length of this. I'm, I'm lost at where I am. All the hatred and infighting of communities can be avoided with the creators communicating and settling boundaries and so on. What are you doing with this then? After days went by, I bumped again, going over the timeline of everything because I had the thought that maybe he was frustrated with me and thought that I had, had stolen his idea or something. Still no response. So I reached out to other friends of ours who are having the same communication struggles. So I figured it wasn't a me thing. So I bumped him again a week or so later expressing my love for him, and that the SMP wasn't worth hurting or friendship over, and that I had no intention of competing with him or trying to copy any of his ideas, to at least talk to me, man. I don't want to have any problems between us. I love you, and I tried avoiding anything like this from happening. I don't know what the best resolution is, but it's definitely not silence between us. <sighs> I take the whole high school club thing back. Now it's written kind of more like he's writing to his high school crush and she's completely ghosting him. So now he's just airing this all out on what you would think would be a private Twitter. But instead of that, 2.3 million people are following. This is fascinating behavior from the Minecraft community. I'm still trying to understand the upside for him here because I, I think everyone's reaction to this is why? Why is this out here in the open? But moving on, still no response. Responses. And at this point, I was very stressed and concerned about it. So members of the QSMP and non-members of the friends of mine attempted to reach out to get clarity or figure out what was going on. From what I gathered, there was no responses. And it was strongly alluded from Q that you wouldn't be allowed to play on both servers if you were a part of the QSMP, which totally makes sense for Quackity as there's not many creators on the QSMP and it takes a lot of time to make all the mods and updates for content and you want it to be as active as possible. I was still incredibly confused and I continued to reach out and have even even put my project on hold to try to work out what was going on behind the scenes and extend love and support to Quackity and everything he has done publicly. Why? Just work on your own server. Just make content. That's what people want. What? <laughs> if Quackity isn't responding to you for weeks on end and you're continuously trying to get a hold of them, let them respond on their own accord. Like, wh why are you wasting so much of your own time? <laughs> He's literally writing this like he's chasing a girl who's not interested in him. As only a couple weeks before this happened, we were all still joking and talking in calls, playing in events together, texting and chatting, and my assumption would be that we're still really good friends, and that this is just a big misunderstanding with a lot of lack of communication between Quacky and all of us. That being said, I've seen the community split against each other and have tons of hate build around this and around the speculations of people's motives and friendships and so on, and that's really, really harmful to the community as a whole. I've seen more threats, doxing, fights, slander, and hate between a bunch of fan bases that I've seen in very long time. Wait, this much is happening because of Minecraft servers? I personally have experienced an elevated level of real life threats and stalkers and even had the police involved in someone showing up to my house and even putting trackers on my family's vehicles surrounding this drama. For the first time since pre-face reveal, that's really why I felt like I had to say something about it despite me wanting to avoid any kind of serious talk about this. Especially even talking about the communication publicly feels wrong but necessary in this instance. We're still Still talking about Minecraft servers, right? Huh. Well, if that all happened, that's some odd behavior. So just to get this straight, people are showing up to YouTube creators' houses because of some Minecraft server drama? Wasn't expecting that on the 2023 bingo card. I never like to air out anything that feels or is private. That's exactly what you're doing right now. But I feel like in this case, it's really important for my fan base to be aware of my intentions, motives, and thought process and how we got to where we are. I've always been a creator that's been very open with my fan base about everything. This is something like, dude, mention this on a live stream. Like, don't... <laughs> Bro, <laughs> about everything that's going on in my life, this is a massive thing right now for my friends and me, and this is something an outsider might not really understand. I do not understand this whatsoever as an outsider. What's going on? I feel clarity is important. So like I said, it's really not worth all the drama. I want to play Minecraft with friends again, and I really can't wait to start doing it again. The United SMP concept will be changed so that it's, again, different enough from the QSMP to not compete with it, and keep the main goal of uniting creators from all around the world to just simply play vanilla Minecraft. 
I'm worried if anything, a thread like this would make people not want to play on the server because now you're realizing, ah, is it worth it to play on a server with a guy who might turn around and write a entire novel because you don't respond to him? And not only just write the whole novel, but put it out in front of uh, what this this original tweet has how many views? 47.1 million people have now seen a tweet because Quackity didn't reply to Dream. Talk about blowing something out of proportion. My intention was to never try and compete with another SMP because any friendship problems or cause drama in the community, it was just to have fun and put out cool, unique content. Just remember, this is all about uniting the world and communities and sharing positivity around. I love everything that Quackity's done. I really believe in the big miscommunication that we'll all be able to laugh about it down the line together. Okay, but if you believe that, why are you writing all this? Like. <laughs> Oh. I don't support any hate towards anyone. Any form of doxing, threats, harassment is unacceptable. <laughs> Bro, I will continue to say that I have the most utmost respect for Quackity as a creative. Bro, this is just cope. Clearly, you're not very happy with him at all. I don't want anyone to try to take things I do and compare them to his work, but put him down or to pit us against each other. You are doing the definition of pitting you versus him in your community's eyes. Now, suddenly a whole bunch of Minecrafters want a response from Quackity when clearly he just doesn't want to respond. So, uh, <laughs> oh, one of the weirder things I've covered, that's for sure. I'm not even finished with a thing. I mean, like my hope is still that Quackity sees this and knows that there's no one was ever meant any ill will. We love him and that his friends are trying to reach out to him and know what's going on and are proud of everything he's done. I am so confused by this. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> Overall, uh, this should have been left in the group chat. Probably one of the weirder things I've covered, but this is also written by a guy who apparently cheated on a Minecraft speedrun, then denied it a whole bunch until it was scientifically proven that he did cheat in Minecraft. So here we are. I think he actually doubled down after that, but that happened like two years ago. So what exactly happened isn't fully fresh in my mind right now. I do feel like if he just uh, spent this time writing this freaking novel, making a video, that would have been a way better use of his time because <laughs> what was that? But will Dream and Quackity ever reunite? I don't know. Find out on the next episode of Weird People Playing a Block Game. And while you can consider this to be a crappy situation, you know what it's a crappier situation? This Amazon guy who fell into a septic tank while just simply trying to deliver packages. And after that happened, he still had to deliver the rest of his packages. So that's an absolutely insane story you should check out here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.